Garrett Romain, your host for Garrett's World of Geology. Today we're going to go look for quartz crystals at Hanson Creek, a short drive east from Seattle in the Snoqualmie Pass area of I-90. These are some of the best quartz crystals in Washington, so let's go. Here's a map of the Snoqualmie Batholith, and you'll notice there's a lot of different zones where quartz crystals are popular, but Hanson Creek is a safe spot. The Hanson Creek locale is east of Seattle on Interstate 90, just west of the Snoqualmie Pass area. Okay, this is the first left turn off of Hanson Creek Road after you go underneath the trestle and see all those old pilings. It's kind of a tank trap at the beginning of the road there and the trees come in really close to the road on up ahead and people like to save their paint jobs and just walk in but it's kind of a fur piece so we're going to take a Toyota and get on in there. Four wheel drive. Lexus could have handled this. Along the road into the lower Hanson Creek locale, you're going to see some pretty impressive granite outcrops, and that's the Snoqualmie Batholith. Marty made a new friend. Okay, we're out here on the edge of the great Snoqualmie Batholith, a huge chunk of granite. And on this side of it, there's vulks and cavities where quartz crystals have grown. Right now, we're in kind of a huge landslide deposit. So the material is coming from up above us and coming through. What that means is you don't have to dig to bedrock. This isn't like gold prospecting. So if you, now that we're here, we can see crystals everywhere, mostly small and broken, but pretty good quality. And um, we'll just keep looking around, find a spot to dig maybe. If you want, you can bring up a uh, shovel and a screen and you can work the dirt that way. Or you can just wander around and pick them up. It's not that tough. And you'll never go home skunk from Hanson Creek. Here's a nice stubby one. Yep. Pretty good shape to it. How are you feeling about this hike so far, Garrett? Oh, it's okay. Yeah? I'm just not making very good time. I'm fine. I mean, I'm not ready to throw up yet. 100 more yards up the hill and we're there. It's not so bad. <laughs> I can do it. I think I'm going to throw up. It's only about a 60 degree slope. <laughs> Okay, uh, just a little public service announcement here. You really do need to pack your garbage out. And, um, you know, rock hounds are going to get a bad reputation if this place just looks like a trash pit. So maybe grab a couple cans on your own. Take out more than you bring in. It's a good spot. We don't want to lose it because of a few bad apples. End of announcement. Up is pretty well marked with splashes of orange paint on various tree trunks. So. You, once you get this far, you'll find it. And there's crystals on the ground everywhere. You just have to start being choosy now. Try to get them with a good termination or exceptional um, form on the hexa hexa hexagonal crystal. Easy for me to say. You can go for quality.
Okay. Screening is one popular way to work up here. Just have to decide if you've got the right grid on your screen, the right mesh. Usually quarter inch. Pretty good. Water would be nice. Yeah, this is this mesh is a little large, so I'm afraid probably a lot of small crystals are getting away. That one. Yeah. Faster coming down. <laughs> Crystal cleaning. Doesn't take much. Notice that he's got a, a brass bristled brush and that will not scratch the quartz. Okay, here's some of the material we've collected up at Hanson Creek. There's nice individual crystals with great terminations. There's clusters. And then every once in a while you'll find a nice purple tinged amethyst piece, which is the real prize. The turn for the upper collecting area is about three miles past the turn for the lower spot. It's also past the target practice area. Watch your mileage and take that left. Drive about a quarter mile to a parking spot. The trailhead's about 100 yards further east. This is upper Hanson Creek. And where's the trailhead, Marty? Right here. <laughs> Yikes, gunshots! Well, this is a hard trailhead to pick out. Hike in is the worst at the start. It's all shrubby and hidden, but it's level and it follows an old road, so it's not too tough. Garrett, I was just telling Brian here about coming through here in August. It just looks completely impenetrable. <laughs> but it does open up. See the road we came up? Way down below us. The digs are up there between those snow banks where it landslides across the road. Yeah. Alright, Marty's found something up there. We better go take a closer look. Let's get this piece out of the way. Any bugs up here, it's a good spot for working. Now well, there's a little bit of our booty from the day. This is a great spot. I really recommend after you've tried down below on the bottom of Hanson Creek that you give this one a try. There are plenty of camp spots along the south fork of the Snoqualmie River, and there's an organized campground at Tinkham. But be prepared for wet weather and bring a tarp. Okay, that's it for today. Thanks for joining us on Garrett's World of Geology. Till the next time, enjoy some of these specimen shots. Lexus could have handled this.